I mean, it's no better feeling. And you start hearing them beating on like top of the tunnel. So like that's the time where my heart beats like fast. Doom, 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 doom. Then the smoke comes and then it's just poof. Smoke clears, it's kind of breathtaking. Chills run down your spine. Butterflies just seem to go away when you walk through the tunnel. All the fans screaming, all the noise, the band, the fireworks. You walk through the smoke and then you just see a sold out stadium. It just like gives you chills every time. It's just surreal like running out into the field and just seeing all those fans, hearing all the people screaming. It's crazy. Every time we run out of the tunnel, it's full full stadium. You know, nothing less than that. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shine bright. Think about it. Life powered by the sun. Envision all the things you do every single day. And then plug it into the sun. Because it's a cleaner, greener way. It's a pink way to bring energy into your home, into your everyday life. It's about making a difference for a better today and for an even better tomorrow. Because everything is powered by the sun. Pink Energy, proud sponsor of Planet Earth. Stop trouble before it starts with CPI security and our new outdoor camera with perimeter alert. CPI is proud to be the official smart home and security sponsor of NC State Athletics. For special deals, visit mycpi.com slash wolfpack. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. at first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, feel blessed um, to have a, you know, opportunity to learn and grow from uh, a win in which we didn't play up to our ability and um, a lot of positives, a lot of negatives, you know, um, a lot of can't believe that happened type feelings, you know. Ehlers will take a shot downfield, and it's intercepted. They got to feel what it's like to be a ranked team, playing a team that has nothing to lose, and that's very important to understand. They're going to get everyone's best shot. It's a great experience to go on the road and play in front of crowd noise like that, and I think that's going to be valuable for the team as well. We played a lot of guys for the first time on offense, you know, to get to see Demi Sumo run the ball the way he did. That inspires people around him to block harder for him, you know. I mean, they know that this guy's going to fight. They better be fighting for him. And <clears throat> that was a needed thing in our offense, you know, to see somebody just say, no, give me the ball. I'm going to go make a play. And 
He did that multiple times in the game. Slimy Shark. Touchdown, NC State. You know, on defense, we had two interceptions, you know, second play of the game. And then probably the best thing in the game was the block punt for a touchdown and, and the big punt return. Those two special teams plays were huge momentum plays in the game that ultimately were difference makers for us in that game. And there's over 30 snaps a game of special teams, sometimes more. And it's the largest exchange of field position that takes place on a single play in the game. I mean, the ball is going to travel a minimum of 40 yards on most special teams plays. An offensive play that goes 40 yards is a massive play. A defensive play you give up for 40 yards is massive. That's the average play on special teams. So it's a huge exchange of field position with opportunities for explosive things to happen. And Work, Starts with the fundamentals. I mean, the game was founded on blocking and tackling, and, and I feel like we can be better in both of those so much. Missed more tackles than I've ever seen us miss in a game. Blocking, you know, we're on people, but we're not finishing people the way that we can. And it, finishing not always means getting a pancake. It means just staying between your man and the ball carrier, you know. In fall camp, you'll do some live tackling, you know, and we did. Um, I think we did less with our experienced players than I'm used to doing, and I think that showed with the, the mindset that these guys have tackled a lot. they got a lot of reps. We're going to get them to the first game healthy and get them the reps they need and get guys out and, in retrospect. You know, it's easy to second-guess yourself, but I would still take a healthy roster over, you know, 10 more minutes of tackling if someone was going to get hurt for the season. So. I think we made good choices. I don't like the result. We got to look at that a little bit. How can we make that better? Now that we're in season, you're tackling every Saturday. So now it's just practicing faster. Like they need to sprint to the ball with better angles in practice and not hit the guy like they're going to tackle him. But you can tag a guy off in a form where you know you had him, you know? And so we call that taggy. You know, uh, if a guy's running at an angle, we're going to come right off of his back hip, where if he would cut back, he'd be getting smoked right there, you know? And, playing as fast as you can so that we're not overrunning the ball like we did multiple times in that game. We had a lot of guys taking poor angles and that's because in practice they're not running as fast as they need to be. And so that was pointed out very well in the team meeting by me and the staff and I think we'll see a lot of improvement in that area. Yeah, it's a special entry you know, that we have coming into Carter Family Stadium. The fans do a great job. The the pyro crew does a great job, you know, the flyover with the planes and the whole thing. There's a lot of great pageant people. I think every time you do it, you, you get a little surprised by how loud it is. I mean, it's loud. You see the students leaning over the rails and the young kids. When that smoke starts and then the players, you can hear them pounding on the roof. And then when we turn around and take the field after the sway, the fireworks and the noise and yeah, it's it's a pretty awesome feeling, man, and and you just know for those young men that don't get to do this very long, it's that's a great experience they get to have. The question of the week is sponsored by Coca Cola. Before you start the season, you have goals. We want to win the ACC. You know, I mean, that's our goal is to win this conference. And if you have the same roster that at the end of the year that you started with, you feel like we should do that. You know. A lot of things can change that are out of the coach's control that changes your roster. And sometimes you're not the same team that you were when it started, you know? So we're gonna have to week to week. My goal is to be the best version of us that we can be and to play as competitive a football as we can play and to minimize the mistakes that we make, you know, so that we give ourselves a chance to win every one of these things. That to me is success. You know, if I look back on it and like, man, we underachieved in this game, we underachieved in that game, that is failure. And so, you know, I want to get the most out of our team. And that's what success looks like to me. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Carolina Ford Dealers, proud sponsor of NC State Athletics. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. 
It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be True Blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. From protecting your teeth and gums, to restoring your smile, to sponsoring your local team, Tar Heel Periodontics is the premier periodontal practice of the Triangle community. Our team of highly skilled doctors provide dental care as individual as you are, working with you to build a personalized treatment plan to create the beautiful, healthy smile of your dreams. With offices conveniently located across the Triangle and Central North Carolina, you're never far from the Tar Heel Periodontics family. Visit our website or call now. Think about it. Life powered by the sun. Envision all the things you do every single day and then plug it into the sun because it's a cleaner, greener way. It's a pink way to bring energy into your home, into your everyday life. It's about making a difference for a better today and for an even better tomorrow. Because everything is powered by the sun. Pink Energy, proud sponsor of Planet Earth. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Now we're gonna take a closer look at some of the top plays from the ECU game and also break down this scheme a little bit more with this film right here. First possession of the season, second play. You'll notice here, the, the receiver is communicating with the quarterback. He's saying, I have press. We're running an RPO, but I have press. So let me run a big box fade. What is going through your mind right here, Drake, when you see this ball in the air? Okay, so initially, obviously, we're bringing pressure, so I'm in man coverage right here. I see him signal to the two, number two receiver, and as soon as he go, uh, he threw the ball up, he, I knew T. Bakes, one of our best coverage guys, I knew T. Bakes was about to make a play on the ball. The snap fakes and will fire down the left sideline, and it is intercepted at the 35-yard line by Tyler Baker Williams. He cut right in front of the antenna receiver. That was C.J. Johnson again, and intercepted the pass. And I think this is a great job by Tyler getting his head around sometimes you, these receivers they get big eyes and right when they get their big eyes those dbs know this ball is coming i gotta mm -hmm. get my head around yep he did a good, really good job he was in phase as soon as uh you know he realized he was in phase and he was good, in good position to make a play that's when he got his head back and did a good job making a play on the ball like he said i thought this was also a good job keeping his leverage so when you guys are bringing this pressure what's he being taught don't get beat don't get beat inside? Yeah, I he think he's probably got inside uh, leverage. Yeah, inside leverage right here. Um, especially early downs, quick games, RPOs, I would assume he would, you know, keep inside leverage right there and try and take away like quick throws on the inside. Okay, now it's third down. We just talked about how on third down this 3-3-5 three, three, defense allows guys to be coming from everywhere. I thought this was a really well executed play all the way around. Talk us through what, the, what this pressure is. Uh, so this is like a double A gap pressure. Um, both me, the Sam and the Mike uh, reading the guards right here. Uh, you know, they got us man on 50, uh, 55 protection. And so we're just penetrating those A gaps and then the nose is gonna be wrapping to the boundary with the nickel coming up uh, and under the defensive end who's ripping contain. And then in the back end, we're just playing uh, cover one man um, and Cyrus right here. He uh, does a good job seeing the mesh concept and sorting through all of the garbage and making a play on the ball. And from the quarterback's perspective, as you said, it's a five-man protection. You call it a five-on-five. Five. Mm -hmm. But it, it, with this odd front, if two of these guys come, we have to be hot. So this quarterback does a good job getting the yep. ball out of his hands. He finds his quick answer. But this is just an excellent break on the ball to come over top, come downhill, and make a huge third down stop. And if you run that back, you can also see where our defensive end right here does a good job, in which he did all game, and just rerouting that uh, guy, you know, so the quarterback doesn't think he has him, right? You know, so if he's releasing like that free out of the backfield, he might hit that if he thinks no one's going to pick him up. But the defensive end does a good job peeling and getting hands on, taking that throw away early. Exactly. As a quarterback, we're looking to see does that defensive end peel 
And if he does, then, you know, that might change whether we have to throw hot or not. Yep. But an excellent job, and probably this left tackle is being taught, take the inside guy. Mm -hmm. But again, this causes a lot of confusion that he has to have his eyes on, on, on you, on the nickel. It, it's a lot for these tackles to have to handle. Now right here, Davin Van is playing point guard. He's, he's giving you an assist. Take us through exactly what is going on right here. Why isn't he rushing up the field? Why is he coming inside and allowing you to come off the edge? Okay, so you saw earlier, I walked up over the guard and I penetrated the A-gap on our double A-gap blitz. So we've done that a couple times at this point in the game. So they're thinking, okay, it's coming again. I'm walking up over the guard. I'm capturing his eyes and holding him long enough for him to pick him on the inside. Once he picks him, we know that that tackle has to make a decision. He's got to either stay locked on that uh, that defensive end penetrating, or he's got to you know come off onto me. Either way, if he comes off onto me, then you can see Davin got past that guard and picked him, and he's the free man. But he decides kind of like in the middle right here, and I end up coming free, making a hit on the quarterback. And you talk to any offensive lineman, any offensive line coach. They hate nothing more than picks because it is so hard on this guard to track you, get hit, and this tackle to bump off. But you do an excellent job wrapping tight around the corner, making him throw off his back foot, allowing the corner to break on the ball. All around, great execution by all 11 guys on the field. So now ECU's in a situation where they're backed up. They want to get to at least this 10-yard line, and if they have to punt, their punter won't. Take us through this cornerback's responsibility right here and how he does a great job triggering and meeting this back in the backfield. Yeah, so we got a strong rotation in the back end, meaning we're going to cloud the field corner. And as soon as he sees this, he has no other responsibility. He's going to trigger now and go, uh, you know, be the force player on the screen. And obviously anybody else, like you can see me, I'm not going to, I know that they're showing screen right here, swing screen, but that's not my responsibility. So I'm going to try and play, you know, screen and go until I see ball out and then the rest of us are going to trigger too. But the corner does a great job right here, knowing his responsibility as soon as he's seeing it and triggering and go making a play. I think it's, it's so important to point out what you hit on before, the cohesiveness, how all 11 guys have the responsibility. And it's got to be tempting for you that you know this is coming, but you have to play your responsibility because you don't want to give up this seam up the middle, which teams love to run. They love to mm -hmm. pump fake this and then hit them up, up the seam. And as a linebacker, it takes a lot of patience to sit back and just do your job and all 11 guys be doing the same thing. So that way a play like this can happen. And then the next time, I'm sure Offensive coordinators are watching this saying, hey, we might screen be able to go. run the screen and go. But with you, they better think twice about it. Yeah, 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 pretty much. I mean, yeah, like you said, that I see that and I know it's coming. I'm in my head, I'm like, I need I want to go make this play. I want to go make this play. But I, you know, I'm trusting my corner and the other guys going to be forced players, and I'm just gonna do my responsibility. That way, you know, nothing like that does happen. Thank you for joining us today, Drake, giving me and the fans. A great inside look at what the premise of this 335 defense is. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by North Carolina's electric cooperatives, powering a brighter future for the people and communities we serve. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From protecting your teeth and gums, to restoring your smile, to sponsoring your local team, Tar Heel Periodontics is the premier periodontal practice of the Triangle community. Our team of highly skilled doctors provide dental care as individual as you are, working with you to build a personalized treatment plan to create the beautiful, healthy smile of your dreams. With offices conveniently located across the Triangle and Central North Carolina, you're never far from the Tar Heel Periodontics family. Visit our website or call now. Stop trouble before it starts with CPI security and our new outdoor camera with perimeter alert. CPI is proud to be the official smart home and security sponsor of NC State Athletics. For special deals, visit mycpi.com slash Wolfpack. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. 
It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be True Blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. I need to try it first. Yeah. with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Well, I think that we came back to NC State for one reason. NC State is on top! A lot of guys on this team that could have left. And we chose to come back and that's because we want to win it all. And so, get ready. So this sucks. You know, there's no way around it. Um, I feel horrible for you guys. Did you raise your hand if you're a senior? We've, we've been through a lot. We cannot find another game, right? I wish we could. We exhausted every possibility. You know, say it however you want to. We spent the whole week out there, um, you know what I'm saying? That was time that we could have been at home for the holidays and things like that. Um, and we found out like five hours before the game. But when I found out, like I was just hurt because we wanted to play. Uh, we felt like we deserved to get to 10 wins, which hasn't been done at NC State before. Go Pack, baby. It's up next year, 2022, we coming for it all. Run it back, baby, run it back, run it back. So we've went nine and three the past two years, um, and we just feel like it's time for us to get past the nine win mark. Like that's something that means a lot to guys on this team. Appreciate y'all coming up. It's amazing to see how far we've come, and I just think this year could really put us over the edge of where we want to be. Uh, like everybody doesn't know how bad that four and eight year was for us. Um, like it's tough to come in every week and put in so much work and to not see it on the field. Um, and like at the end of that year, like we, we as a team knew that, listen, we can't go through that again. So we, we went out and we uh, bonded. You know, like we, like, we, like we understood that we had to go put in some, some more work. Let's go. Gotta have the right, right mindset. Feel me? PBO, baby. PBO, PBO. 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 Now the floors now, I'm breaking the doors down. I'm We're running the circles, run just till you fall down. Let it rain, let it pour down. I'm even popping the yards. Hey, hey, hey. You got the stuff inside my brain. It's driving me insane. It's off the chain. I've been looking back. It's off. It's not the same. I've got to get my head up in the game. Yeah. You know, this team is um, this is the closest any team I've ever been on. Uh, we're, we're brothers, we're family. When, when we say family, we, we really mean it. We'll do anything for each other. When we go out there and lay it all on the line for each other. And that's what's easy for me to come back to that. I think that was the main thing for us is that we wanted to be able to do something special for NC State. You know, I feel like as a team that we left some stuff on the plate last year. Um, I feel like there's some games that we should have won that we didn't. And I feel like with the guys that we have on this team that I wanted to just come back one last year and just give them my all. But we felt like as a group that we have so much experience on, on this team that we could come back and do something special. You gotta be crazy if you're thinking I'ma stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been a goal of mine to go to the NFL. Uh, last year, just hearing the things like, Grant, if you play well this year, then yeah, then that's going to happen. That kind of got in the way of my mindset um, and just playing and trying to dominate. And I felt like this past se season that I didn't play as well as I could have. Um, I felt like I, like I made a whole bunch of mistakes that I, that I normally don't make. But for me, uh, it was more so just mental. Uh, uh, you know, like for me, like I hold myself to a high standard. There's certain times where like I get so tense on the field, like I just don't want to mess up. So just learning more about myself and what caused that um, has helped me to grow, grow as a man. Why well, I learned that I need to stay where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm, I'm the type that's concerned about, you know, like how's this going to affect the next game or things like that. So something that I've learned about myself is just being where I'm at right now. 
I felt like I took it too much like a job. Um, I wasn't having fun with my friends. Like I was like, listen, this is work and this is, you know what I'm saying, this is what I need to do. But this year though, I've tried to enjoy all the small things, like even the runs, the workouts, the lifts, you know, cause this is my last year. So, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to, to make sure that I can enjoy it all while I'm here. Even though I didn't play up to my standards, uh, that was probably the most fun that I had last year. And I was kind of like, listen, like, I don't want to be an old man th thinking back like, hey, like I should have came back to school and had fun with my guys for the last year. So that played a huge role in me wanting to come back this year. Yeah, Grant's definitely one of the the best people I've ever met um, in my life. You know, he always talks about PBO, positive vibes only, and that, and that really explains him. And he uh, he, he takes, takes care of his business. We understand that there's a time to work. But there's also a time where we can have fun too. Like that's certain stuff that we just don't get to do anymore. So it's always fun for us to, to be able to do that and act like kids again. Like when you've been playing it for so long, you know, like it does get more intense. Like we like we understand that. It's a, a, a business at this point, but it's also like, you know, like this is a game that we start off playing just for fun as kids. You know, like we played outside at recess during school, like in the na in the neighborhood as well. It's just important for us to always do those little small things that keep the game fun. Because if you turn the game into a job, then it's not fun anymore. And, and that's when you don't play as well. NC State in the past could sneak up on teams. You know, like people didn't respect who we were or didn't think that we were that good. Now though, everybody can see like, oh, these, these guys are good. So for us as a team, like we kind of try to tune it out. It's not good to like uh, listen to all the hype, you know, cause some, because sometimes if you hear it too much, then you feel like, all right, well, I don't have to, to work as hard and that's when you can slip. Teams that have us marked this year. We know that they're gonna come out there and give us everything that, that they have. Good job again, man. Appreciate Wolfpack Nation for coming out. But we understand that we got to take it one game at a time. Uh, that's the goal for this year, and that's what the guys on this team want to do. That's all we want to do is win this year. You are ready for this moment. This is your year. This is your team. This is your night. It's like, listen, like we want to win, so get ready. This segment of One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Town Properties. This is your house. Make it special one play at a time. Every snap counts. Your focus, your heart, your passion, your love, put it on tape every snap at a time. Have they got me? Mac Droy, he's gonna keep it to the 10 yard line, five still moving. He's hit, crosses the play, and NC State touchdown. Leary now looks left, he'll throw, left corner end zone, got a man wide open, caught, Houston on the diving catch, touchdown, well packed. It's a 24 yard touchdown reception. Long pass into the end zone, caught, Anthony Smith, touchdown. Mims, he's got running room, 15 yard line, 10, makes a man miss, five, end zone, touchdown. As the pack moves to 2-0, wins its home game for the 13th straight time. 